couple of things, David. Number one is that when you're when you're getting ready to putt, you don't want to try to make it. You want to just roll the ball. I mean, as soon as you try anything in life, try not to three putt, try to do something in golf especially, it's not going to work. And the key thing I try to talk to people is to have the right line or the right speed, which is the most important. And most people will say the right speed. And then there's the same guy that blows it four feet by. So when I'm putting, this is a seven footer, so if I'm putting this, I'm expecting the ball to die into the hole. Whether it's 50 foot or three foot, I'm still expecting to die in the hole because I believe the right feel, the right distance is much more important than the line. And so consequently, when I get up to putt it, the, other, the, other, the, other, the last part of the tip would be to make sure you don't watch it. Just try to stay still and roll it. If you don't care if it goes in, that's the ten chance you'll usually make it every time. Set up, and you'll notice the speed of the ball is just very, very slow and misses the hole. Do I get a mulligan? You get a mulligan. Oh, okay. Never miss mulligans. In other words, it's the speed. If you watch me putt, and you watch Crenshaw or any of the good putters, you'll see the ball roll. It's not struck or it's not hit. You said that about never missing mulligans, and it seems to really be the case. That's when you care less about the putt, so you actually, like you said earlier in the tip, that's easier than to make those putts. Yes, yes, very definitely. And that's, you know, what does the average person do? Well, I guess there's one major difference. I mean, real quick. You want my setup versus theirs? Sure. Their setup would be to come up here and practice a couple of times and then step into it without looking at the hole. Okay. I'm going to literally take no practice swings, look at my line of the target, step in and look at the hole the entire time while I'm setting my feet. Then I'm automatically set up, even if I get a stuck like that, I don't stop because you don't hit a putter with your backswing anyway. I want to be going through it. Is there anything physiologically that you do to make sure you've got the looser grip pressure? I'm asking you about eight different questions because you're one of the great putting right. instructors of all time. It's just, again, that boils down to not trying. In other words, as soon as trying is, if I was to shake hands, you could literally pull a cut, the putter out of my hands. My left hand is slightly stronger than my right hand. And again, I've been taught that the back of the left hand is my direction hand going toward the hole. But it's, I relate it to people that a good pool shooter. It's not how hard you hit the cue ball. It's where the balls end up. It's just, you know, they just leave it in the right spot. And that's kind of what a good putter does. And somebody that doesn't, you'll see very quick mannerisms. They walk into the ball fast. They stroke it fast. And you can tell they, they just want to get it over with. <laughs>